as architects or as people in the AEC industry, we are all familiar with presentations and portfolios. So when we are working on those portfolios, you see some of us, which is not a bad thing, taking time in rendering the elevations very well. So that is nice, of course. It's always good to present your work as best possible. But when that rendering takes too much time, you really ask yourself, is it really worth it? While I was updating my portfolio, I actually figured out a technique you could use in Revit to bring out presentation-ready elevations in no time. So instead of taking too much time and carrying it things from Revit to Photoshop or even carrying it for renders, I think this method is going to save you a lot of time. So I used one of my old projects. This is actually my school project, but I modified it a bit for something before. So I think it's an ideal project for this tutorial. So what we're going to do, I made sure that I reset the elevation settings back to Revit default elevation settings. So you, it will not be as if you came and saw it, it was already modified. Okay, so we are going to first go to 3D first and we are going to place some trees around this building. So as you can see, this building is isolated. So what we can just do is to rotate it to the top, go to massing and site and we are just going to click on this site um, component. Okay, there's no site component loaded. I think I paused the file. So I'm just going to open this um, other file. Then I'm just going to select some of these trees and just copy them. I can click on copy to clipboard. Then go back to this building here. Then simply click on paste, control V. So I can paste this here. Then I can go to the top of this. Then I can just move this tree. Left click hold and just move these trees randomly towards the back. Okay, so now this is done. We are going to go back to our approach elevation or any elevation of your choice. So we are going to select all these trees. Apparently, they placed on the selling level and I'm going to change their level back to NGO. Including this one as well. I'm going to change this to zero, zero. So it's going to appear something like this. Okay, so let's get to the main cookie. So we are going to click on these um, levels. We don't need to these levels to show in a presentation elevation. We are going to hide in view by category. So after doing that, we are now going to click on TL. TL is the shortcut for 10 lines. So it's going to make the line tense. Why I'm doing this now, you are going to see it later on. I'm still going to turn on back the tick lines. But for now, we can just leave it as 10 lines. Then we are going to do some graphics display. So we are going to click on GD. Okay, so once we click on GD, I'm going to click on this drop down and change this style to shaded. After doing this, I'm going to click on this smooth line with anti aliasing and make sure I check off this show edges. After I click on this, check off this show edges, I'm going to go to these shadows, click on cast shadow, show ambient shadows. Then I'm now going to go to lighten. Under lighten, I'm going to leave the sun at 90. I'm going to leave the ambient light at 20 and the shadows at 20. Then I'm going to go to insertion lighting. I'm going to click on still. I'm going to click on summer. I think summer is nice. Then I'm now going to change this time to usually I like using starting from 8.30 a.m. 8.30. Then I'm going to click on apply. Click on OK. So I can now go to background. I can click on this drop down and change this to gradient. Click on this sky. Drag it more towards blue and make it very light blue. Click on OK. Click on apply and click on OK again. So now it's done like this. What we can now do is to start editing some of these materials. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to select this railing. This railing that is looking um, blue is just off. So we're going to try and edit the material. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the railing. We're going to click on edit type. Then once we click on edit type, we're now going to click on this baluster placement. Okay, so in this baluster placement, you are, can see the M panel glazed. Okay, so 800 mm. So I'm just going to click on OK and I'm going to take note of that. Then I'm going to go under families, click on this plus icon click on these railings once i click on railing i'm supposed to see the m panel glazed so i'm going to click right click and click on edit so once i click on edit i'm going to change this click on this and change this to shade it then i think that is when the color this blue color will come out so i'm going to click on this i'm going to click on this material and click on change this to none okay then after clicking on it i'm going to click on this again click on this material here and create a new material right click duplicate and call this 00 tinted glass or tinted let me just call it tint instead of wasting time then click on this icon here um 
then i'm going to click on appearance i'm going to go to glass i think there should be a glass under appearance i'm going to go to glass then i'm going to look for this heavy color glass i'm going to click on graphic click on use render appearance uncheck this use render appearance and reduce transparency to about 40 then click on apply click on ok so it's now going to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit ctrl s to save this then it's going to save in this document i'm going to click on save or i'm going to save it as another name so when i'm loading it back into the project it's going to be easy to do so i'm going to click on file i'm going to click on save as family then i'm just going to call this tinted really tnt rail okay so i'm going to click on save so once i've saved it with this name i'm now going to click on load into project i'm going to set the project i want to load into which is the one we are working on then i'm just going to load into it uh -huh. so if we go back to the elevation we were working on if you go to this approach elevation it's still going to be appearing blue so what we're going to do is we're not going to replace this panel with the one we just saved so i'm just going to click on this railing click on edit type click on this baluster placement go to where we had this m panel glazing click on this drop down and click on this tnt rail and click on ok apply ok so you can see this looks much better so another thing we are going to be editing is this cutting wall embedded windows so i don't like this glass so i'm going to click on this click on edit family okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to edit one of them save it as another new window then replace everything in that file you are going to see how we are going to do it so i'm going to select this glass i'm going to basically click on it and do the same thing i did for the railing duplicate then i'll just give it a random name i don't have time we don't have time click on appearance glass we're going to be using some dark glass um let me just use something okay let me use this light gray click on graphics um i'm going to click on color make this dark darker reduce transparency click apply and click ok so after doing this now um i can click on this um frame i can click on equals to click on none click ok click on this and just make this a darker material or just make it simple aluminium it's fine but i think it's fine so now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hit ctrl s and i'm now going to save this i'm going to save this as um 222 u u u just a random funny name but the whole point is so i'm going to be able to distinguish it when i load it back into the project like we're going to do now so i'm going to click on load into the project so once it's loaded we are going to go back to this approach elevation i'm going to select this cutting or embedded window right click and hit um, hover around the select all instances in the entire project then all the instances is going to select then i'm going to click on this drop down and set it to this tt hmm. okay so i think this is good as you can see this is looking much better so now what we are going to do now is we are now going to do some line work so you can see that i turned off the lines in this elevation it's nice in a way but it's usually nice if you combine it with some other lines so we are going to go to annotate and we are going to look for if we have some tick lines so i'm going to click on detail line so if you don't have this line here let me just quickly show you how to create 0.7 tick line in revit you simply go to manage under manage you go to additional settings line styles then click on this new line just name it line 7 let me just call this one line 7 line 0 0.7 then i'm just going to click ok then you're going to see the line will appear the properties will be a default one black solid so we're going to click on this one and just simply change it to seven to adjust the thickness click ok and we have a new line so i'm going to go to annotate i'm going to go to detail line so once i go to detail line i'm now going to click on this modify click on this drop down and look for this line 0 0.7 then we're now going to be drafting on this you know if you are familiar with graphics the things that are foremost in the building should come with thicker lines then the things behind should now come with um, thinner or light lines so the what we are going to do is we're going to be using 0 0.7 lines for these balcony major elements i created in this design so i'm just going to try and maintain some precision 
So if you are comfortable with using tick lines, you can hit TL. Then you are going to see the tick lines will come out. Okay, but for now, I will just be using 10 lines. Okay, I just figured out something that will make things easier. We can click on GD and we can turn on the show edges for now. So I'm still going to turn it off. But why I turned it on is so we'll easily be able to draft these tick lines, these tick line parts. So let's continue detail line. So what I'm just going to do is instead of doing everything for each part, I'm just going to do it for one side, then mirror the lines to the other side since is the same is a is an apartment, is a symmetrical apartment. Okay, so now after doing it, I'm just going to click on tab, select these lines, um, hover around this, um, click on tab again, then hold control, then select it. Then I'm just simply going to click on mirror. Then I'm just going to look for an element that marks the middle of this project. Let me just use this one and mirror it to this side. Okay, so it's kind of off a bit. So what I can do is, is before I click on finish, I'll just click on move and move everything to just align with this one. So I think it's set. So we can simply go to GD now. After going to GD, we can now turn off this show edges. Click OK. Then we can now click on TL. So this is basically the elevation. So imagine this kind of stuff. Yeah. So imagine this elevation now. Imagine if you had it like a set of elevations looking like this. I think it looks nice. So what I can just do is to just adjust the um, weather settings a bit. So I'm going to click on lighting. I'm going to click on summer and I'm going to just make it 11, 10, 30 and click on apply. Okay, let me make it 9, 30. 10, 30 is too bright or 10. Okay, I think this is perfect. Click on OK. Click on OK. So we have an elevation. So I'm just quickly going to export it. And you are going to, we are just going to compare how it looks. So I'm going to click on File. I'm now going to click on Export. And I'm going to be exporting it as an image. So we're just going to call this 01. Click on Save. Then click on Zoom 100. Change this to PNG. Click on this raster quality. Change it to 600. Make sure you take note of this setting if you want to learn how to export images. Then click on OK. And I think our elevation should be ready. Okay, I think looking at this, this looks nice. So this can serve as a template you can use readily across maybe your portfolio or your presentation. And it looks nice and it's not too complicated to create. All you need to do is just tweak your material as well, apply the settings, use some line works, and you're good to go. So I hope this video was helpful and you could use it to improve your presentation using only Autodesk. So sometimes you don't need too much complicated stuff. Just knowing the right tools and Revit can help you achieve something nice. Okay, so that is all for this video who oh, make sure you give me a like subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed we do stuff like this and i believe it will be helpful for you don't forget to hit the notification bell and another thing is compliments of the season i hope you enjoy a nice christmas and a happy new year um next year i hope to work on some very nice projects and we keep trying to improve okay that's it and done later to the nfc again in the next video